I don't know what we can talk about in this nation without talking about white superiority, honestly. Who defines the meaning of God also defines the relationship between economy and God. African Americans spent $1.3 trillion last year, making us the 16th wealthiest nation in the world. Why have we not turned those riches into wealth to develop our community? Peace family. Oh my, so nice to be with you guys today. Um, it's almost a weekend. Um, I want to just, you know, uh, just kind of chat for a couple of uh, seconds, get people to come in. Um, peace to Aloria, Akon, um, Akon Divine. Yes, Hotep Happy Family. And family we are. Yes. So uh, we have um, a lot of exciting, you know, announcements we want to um, keep talking about. <clears throat> and um, yes, hey. <laughs> um, and I just want to, um, def you know, anybody that's listening right now um, that went with us, either uh, they came to, um, hey, Brian, anybody that came with us to Kimmet. Or if you guys um, hung out with us in Detroit for um, the One Africa Conference, if you could just send me an email. That's well, you know, actually send me an email if you want to be part of the show tonight. <laughs> um, and so I, I'm going to put the um, the email address up. That way, you guys know where to send your um, your information. I'll send you guys a link um, as we're talking. So yes, you know, and thank you guys so much for um, you know for tuning in tonight. A lot of times, you know, we have, yep, there's, there's Sunette. Um, and, you know, we want to thank, uh, it, 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 in the comments, I mean, yeah, in the, um, in the chat, she's, um, it says, ready, set, build expressions. So this sister, she's the one that puts up all the posts, like for Wednesdays and Saturdays that, uh, you know, she's teaching us slowly, but surely, Madhu Netcher. <laughs> so um, peace to her. That's what's up. Um, yeah, so if you were part of, um, you know, if you came with us and traveled with us to Kemet, um, or if you were in One Africa at, you know, at the conference, send me an email because I want to um, have you come on tonight and, you know, share share what's going on uh, with you. There's Mr. Whitaker. You know, I feel like I know you guys. I mean, I kind of do know you guys. I know you guys online. So uh, Mr. Whitaker uh, is a... Uh, He's a fantastic man, um, brother. You know, I have to. Say, I can't say Mister. I have to say Brother Whitaker or Brother Doyle. <laughs> um, but he's been a supporter for a very, very long time. Um, and thank you. Um, you know, th thank you for the shout out to my afro. <laughs> the afro is always different. It's always different sizes. It's you know, it all depends on when I'm going to wash it. it. It just starts doing its own thing. But um, peace to you guys all been. Um, being in the chat tonight. So if you, uh, you know, want to be part of the show tonight and you had traveled with us or you've been um, in, um, you know, in, uh, I'm so sorry. I just lost my train of thought. If you travel with us or if you went to um, the One Africa Conference, please make sure you um, send me an email so that I can send you a link so that you can be part of um, part of the um, the show tonight, and this and there's the the email address that you need to send it to, right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with just some some um, some news that's going on because it's pretty exciting um, it, with all the stuff that we've been able to get done. So I know that you guys know, and it, it is interesting because sometimes when, you know, we feel like we're always saying the same thing like over and over again. Um, but we, it's surprising. We'll talk to somebody who we know is a supporter and we're like, oh my God, it's like, you guys didn't know that, but it, and it's like, we're saying it over and over again. So I'm just going to just do a little quick recap. Okay. What's been happening to us over the, um, the past year. So in February, we were all slated to go to Kemet and uh, we were traveling. We had about 200 people that signed up to, to roll with us, which was um, super nice. And, uh, you know, we had been working on that for a year. So some forces outside of us and you can check out our uh, 
our social media. And, it, and in fact, it's just on Facebook. We had some people um, really just come out and attack us. And um, a lot of them were Rosh, like Rush, like Russian, like um, like bots, like computer bots. So some of them were real people, but some of them we don't believe are real people. But it, it doesn't matter. What they did was they created, um, you know, this uh, this frenzy around us coming. And um, to make sure everybody was safe, we we had to, um, you know, we rescheduled the trip, and we just we ended up taking everybody. Um, this uh, a couple of weeks ago to Kemet. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we thought that it was just, you know, as simple as that. But there was other forces and people who look just like us that was really trying to shut us, shut us up. Down. They were trying to shut us down dot com. And, um, and so we want to just thank everyone that uh, was resilient and was like, no, we're not going to have that. And so, you know, a lot of times in life, things happen, and the only thing we can do is either just succumb to what's going on, or we can pivot and make the best of it. And uh, you know, we we have very strong um, ancestral ties that have been really leading our way, leading us to what we're doing. Um, and uh, you know, we. In our minds, we thought we were going to be having this big conference in Egypt, but we ended up actually moving the conference to Detroit, which is probably the best thing that we could have possibly done. Why? Because it changed the conversation. We were going to have our um, our elders in Egypt, uh, you know, uh, returning to the source. That was the name of the conference, and you know, they we would you know be talking about a lot of like um, Kemet things, right? you know, science and, and things like that. But with the pivot, okay, and we saw how it's unfortunate that people like us, that look like us, um, are still, you know, hating for whatever reason. And uh, there's, you know, other uh, sources out there who don't want us to really talk about our history. And the combination of those two things, you know, we really kind of sat down and thought, we need to have a we need to be having a different conversation, which was this whole idea of um, one Africa power and unity. And that's that's that was the birth of that conference. And we ended up having it in Detroit, my hometown. Also, uh, Dr. Uh, Brittany Motley's ho hometown and um, Taiki loves, loves, loves Detroit. So we you know, what better place to have this conference, you know, is in Detroit. And that conference, yes, was fire. Yes, a con divine. It was fire. And um, but, you know, with this conference and with with the pivot, I think a lot of a, a lot of people thought that we were you know, not going to have the trip and this is and that. But we ended up taking um, about half the half the people <laughs> to Kemet. And we went we, we left at the end of May and it was fantabulous. We had Dr. J um, and Dr. Rosalind Jeffries. We also had a SAR Imhotep, um, you know, come come with us. So it was a really nice trip, and it was our first hoppy tour because we decided to go to all the places that we talk about in the hoppy documentary, which um, you guys can find. I'm gonna put this up here. Um, which you know, if you have not seen the hoppy um, documentary, and which is interesting, a lot of people don't know that we have a whole documentary. It's two hours and um, and twelve minutes, and we talk about economics, culture, and politics, and just the the beginning constructs of money, which we created at, along the Hopi River, and then we just investigate this idea of how we created the constructs of money, but now we don't really have any financial independence and we contribute $1.2 trillion into the economy. So that film um, in there, in the first, like uh, maybe quarter, uh, maybe the third of the film, we visit a multitude of places in, um, in, um, in Kemet. And so this was really cool because we actually had a chance to go to all these places and Dr. J, uh, uh, Rosalind, um, Jeffries and Asar Imhotep, they were hanging. <laughs> so this was really nice along with a bunch of other elders who showed some of us young people up in terms of, um, and Infudishi Juhuti miss, how could I forget Infudishi? And so it was a really nice, um, event. And so 
you know, a lot of, uh, I, I just want to just let you guys just kind of know where we are in terms of Hoppy, because we are, we definitely know that we're onto something. And we talk about this new renaissance, we talk about the Hoppy movement, because we're clear about what we're going to, what we're doing. And we appreciate each and every one of you guys who tune in and who support us both um, spiritually, both financially, because the Hoppy movement is live and active and we are not stopping. So <laughs> just want to get that out before we get started on our show. Um, yes, Child of Ogun bought the documentary two times. Okay, that's what's up. And, you know, and, you know, in fact, let me just start off with the uh, announcements because that's a, this, this is a pretty big announcement um, in terms of um, the DVDs. So we have the Hoppy DVD and, you know, you can uh, purchase a DVD, but some of the young people don't even know what a DVD is. <laughs> so it's up on Vimeo, so you can download it or you can just stream it. Um, but uh, up until this point, so Taki Grant, he, he actually made two other films before making Hoppy. He made uh, Nubia, The Untold Story, and um, The Tekken. And Nubia stars uh, Dr. Jeffries and... Um, the Tekken stars uh, Infudishi Juhuti Miss, along with um, Nana, Camille, um, Yabro, and um, Dr. J. And what's interesting is that we've only had those on DVD until today. <laughs> this is exciting news. So now you can actually go onto our, um, our website. And let me get, get our website information right there. Just go to happyfilm.com, go to the merchandise page, and you can actually go ahead and, and digitally download Nubia and Tekken, which is a huge deal for us because everyone kept saying, are you guys going to put it on, you know, put it um, up on Vimeo and was finally up on Vimeo. We've had a lot of things. We've been really busy, you know, especially since everything, you know, um, since February. But um, we are so happy <laughs> that this DVD is up and, um, uh, and it, it's up for streaming and for um, digital download. All right. Um, yes, peace, peace, family, peace, always first class media. Um, so before we uh, get started, so I just want to let everybody know that um, Dr. Roslyn and Dr. J um, had some urgent business that they had to take care of. So they're not going to join us tonight. They will be with us, though, um, within the next week. We have a, a lot of events. Um, which brings me to my next uh, bit of news. We will be at the um, 51st International African Street Festival, which if you are in the New York City area, everyone knows about this festival. Festival has been going on for 51 years. It's actually been going on as long as I've been alive. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. And so uh, we will have a booth well, actually, we have two um, booths down there this year. Last year, it was really um, successful. A lot of our happy supporters came through. So if you are in the area, we will, um, the, the festival starts February, uh, excuse me, not February. It starts Friday, the 1st, uh, July 1st, and it runs through July 4th. And so we'll be out there. Uh, we'll have a lot of the happy cast members coming through, um, coming in and out. And we sell these happy posters. And it's a good, like if you bought one, it's a good chance that you um, will catch some more people to sign the posters. Uh, I know that there's a, a few people who, um, yes, a kind of divine is pulling up with their chair. <laughs> uh, there's a, a few people that, you know, come by, like came by last year and they were looking for people to sign it. Doc, um, Professor Small was in the house. Uh, of course, the Jefferies and um, if Udishi also has a booth, he's on the health. There's like a, um, like when you come to the, the festival, if you've been coming for years, there's like an area that has like all the health, um, like healthy things. That's where Infudishi is. And so we'll be on the side with the music. And so, um, you know, you definitely bring your poster out and get everybody to sign it. Um, also, 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 uh, we will have some um, exciting things in our booth this year. So when we were in Egypt, we actually brought back a lot of things, um, as, you know, that we are going to sell. So these are like imported items from Egypt um, that uh, we will be, you know, having at our booth. So definitely come by, um, you know, to support. And we've also linked some deals with some 
of our happy uh, small businesses. So they'll have like, uh, there's like some things that they created just for our booth and just for our happy um, uh, subscribers. So when you guys come through, you can check those things out. Like we'll have this beautiful um, uh, box of hair things, hair tools and hair stuff. And actually it's, it's this um, the woman that does my hair. Okay. So she did do it right now. This is my creation, <laughs> but she normally does my hair. And so she's put together a special box for us, which is really nice. This box is worth like, Three hundred dollars, and she's selling it for a very, you know, we're selling it for a very uh, inexpensive price. So you guys come through, check out the box. Um, it's going to be uh, really, really nice. Let me see. I'm sorry. Um, so our other news that we have going on. Um, I'm sorry. You know, anytime we start talking about anything, I tell you the. The things that start happening with this technology. All right. So one of the things we were talking about um, last uh, last time we were on with Infudishi is that he has a um, Infudishi traveled with us, which was really super nice uh, in in terms of the information. He was just it was just he could even hold the information going to each temple, all the things that he was talking about. And so, you know, we, we said on that trip, we were like, you know, we need to do a class. We need to have a class so that people can understand the Badu Detcher and the importance of us understanding and being able to read these symbols, but also just learning about the um, comedic spirituality. And what be better person, you know, to teach this um, is in Pudishi. And so we, you know, we hooked up with him and he hooked up with, the Genesis uh, Museum, which is here in Harlem, um, although he he will have some um, some um, uh, you know virtual classes. You can take this class virtual. But the other piece is that it's actually going to um, you know you can come in. Like if you're in the uh, New Jersey or um, New York area, just come through. The place is located at 504 West um, 126th Street. And it, it's going to be nice. It's 15 classes with Infudishi. So Infudishi has a bunch of students and they teach some of the, um, you know, some of the uh, intermediate and beginning classes. But Infudishi is actually going to be teaching a master class, just 15 classes for us. And if you are also going to travel with us because we're going to Egypt, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But um, if if you are traveling with us. you and, you know, because we'll be done with the class before we travel. He's going to, um, you know, give you your certificate on the Hopi River in Egypt. Like, that's dope. <laughs> but if you're not traveling with us, he, he's still going to have a, a you know a little ceremony for you. But it's a, um, you know, that's that's a really uh, cool thing. When he was talking about it on 125th Street, he was really, you know, um, he's very excited about this class. Because the other piece we noticed is that there was just some things that people, excuse me, there's some things that people just did not realize um, was important to know, like when you're when you're traveling to Kemet. You know, a lot of times we go as tourists, but we're not tourists. You know, these are our libraries. They're sacred spaces. We pray before we go in. But Infudishi really helped um, structure a lot of what was happening. And anyone that went on the trip, you know, send me a uh, an email or a text. Because I would love for people to um, to hear it first, you know, firsthand um, what you know what actually happened over in in um, you know in in, in Kemet. Um, also, um, I wanted to uh, yes, the festival starts on Friday, and so so going back, so we have this trip that we're going to be doing. Um, in Egypt, and it's September. Let me just get that up for you. Right there. If you go to our um, akatours.com website, there you go. It's September 9th through the 17th, and it's, it's going to be fabulous. Infudishi will be leading the tour, um, and uh, we are hitting a lot of um, a lot of places. It, it's going to be phenomenal. So if you can take this class, you will be ready. 
so that you can understand what you're seeing. But if you can't, you know, because listen, you know, I'm not, um, I know that everything costs money. Okay, so I want everybody to understand, I know everything costs money. So if you can't, you know, like swing both, that's okay. You're still going to um, understand a lot of what's happening because the way that Infudishi um, speaks, the way that he makes sure that you understand, and it's, 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 a, um, it's a starting point. A lot of times people talk about this trip being the, the trip of a lifetime. Yes, but this is a, a you know this pilgrimage to to Kemet is something that we need to be doing you know more often. It's not just one time and then that's it. You know you keep going back. You go back to the, to these libraries because you learn stuff in the year. You go back and you try to figure you know you you it's like you got this part. Okay, now you're trying to figure something else out. But it's really a place that we need to to. Um, to start to put into not only our bodies into, but really into our spiritual atmosphere, because this is, you know, it's the birthplace of, of us, but it's really a place that we need to be visiting just more, you know, more often. And it's, it is easy to get to. It doesn't seem like, um, you know, a lot of times it seems like very like, Oh my God, how, you know, how can I, you know, do this, but there's ways to get this done. Um, and yes, and how do you take the class? So if you go to, um, at, in fact, if you go to hoppyfilm.com, let me put that up there. Um, if you go to hoppyfilm.com and just scroll down, you'll see uh, a picture of Infudishi and you just click and there you go. And I know some people were talking um, right there, happyfilm.com. Some people were talking about the price for this event, but quite honestly, you're sitting with a master teacher. You're getting 15 classes. There are two hours. Uh, so it's supposed to be two hours, but a lot of times if Dishi, you know, sometimes goes a little bit over. Um, and so you're getting a master class with if Dishi Juhuti Miss and, um, you know, for about two hours. So it's going to be, uh, it's definitely a, um, you know, a very cool, uh, you know, a, a cool experience if you can do it. I've I've taken his beginning classes, and let me tell you, he has you doing everything with your right and your left hands because he's like your brain needs to be able to go back and forth. Um, and so um, this is not, you know, this is not your ordinary class. It's it's definitely something that you want to, um, you know, you want to participate in if you can. Um, also. Let me see. If anyone has any questions, you guys can um, can definitely um, to reach out. Yes. So the map. I talked to Infudishi earlier today, and um, so he only has. I think he has a few of these maps left. They're beautiful. If you go to uh, his website, which is infudishijuhutimis.com, you can um, you'll be able to um, to to get it. I think I have his um, his website here. I can put up for you guys right there. Yeah, if you go to his uh, website, um, uh, infudishijuhutimis.net, you'll be able to get to get his website. I'm sorry. <coughs> um, also, uh, I wanted to. Oops. Yes, um, I was just reading a comment from from Dennis, and yes, that is very that's very sad. But this is why the power of unity is important. And now we we have. Um, I'm going to show you guys a picture. If you go to our website, you can now pick up not only okay. Those are a couple of things you can do now. So you can sign up for Infudishi's class. You can also um, purchase the One Africa uh, Conference. Now, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be bringing um, bringing people that was part of this conference um, back onto the show, so that you guys can um, so that you guys can you know really get a um, I guess a um, a front row seat into what they were thinking when they were um, you know uh, putting together their pieces, but there you go right there. Yep, there's the One Africa Conference. And uh, you can just, you know, you can download it, you can rent it, and you can um, stream it. 
So we have everything right there. Um, yeah, if you just go ahead and visit. Now, also, everybody was asking us, it was so interesting. So at this conference, we had, you know, we, you know, we made a commemorative book. Um, and thank you, seven, um, seven good days. That's good. I like that. Seven good days. Thank you for your donation. And listen, we appreciate your, do your donations. They go a long way in terms of this movement because movements cost money. And so, uh, I, you know, we really appreciate you guys, um, showing us cash app love and, um, and super chat. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seven good old days. I like that. Seven good old days. So, um, we also, uh, yeah, so you can go to our website, you can get the one Africa, uh, power and unity conference. You can download that, um, uh, rent it, or you can stream it. But we also made this book, this commemorative book, and we had all the people that um, there was a, a bunch of um, uh, small businesses that contributed and, and, you know, and took out ad space. And so everyone that came to the conference got one of the books. It was interesting because at some point, I think someone was swiping books because it was like so beautiful. And so we now have the book on um online so when you go to happyfilm.com and i'll put that back up again yeah i should know this by heart now happyfilm.com you uh you can not only uh like i said sign up for infidishi's class you can get the one africa uh power and unity conference but you can also um get the um the book the commemorative book it's only on pdf we only made copies for people who put the ads in and we may have a few left, but the people who actually put ads in, we have to make sure they get theirs first. But this, you can just go ahead and digitally download the, um, the, the, um, the, um, the book. It's beautiful. It has, uh, it has everyone's abstracts. Um, not only does it have the abstracts, but it also has their, um, their bio, and, um, you know, any information that they want to share with everybody. And so, um, you know, if, if you, and I'm, I'm going to actually pull up a picture. I'm going to pull up a picture so that you can see this. Let's see how um, it was just really, it was put together very well. Um, uh, and the thing about this, um, this book, which is really nice, you can see all of the small businesses that helped us. And the the, the fee is it's very it's a nominal fee for the PDF. Um, so you know it, we put it at a very um, low price point so that everybody could check this out. And really, you want to um, see all the, the beautiful businesses that are um, in there and support them because this is how we you know we actually uh, you know make this movement work. Is you know is by our small businesses and by people um, showing us love. We show them love, and it's just um, uh, you know it's just, it's really it's a really nice book, very solid. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Now also, so I think we have we're gonna bring on someone. That was, um, I believe this person was at, uh, you know, saw the, um, the, uh, the, the live stream. And so we want to make sure that we bring them on. And yes, so this is uh, Rashmela Combo. Rashmela just sent me an email so she can be part of this discussion since she was literally a, uh, um, she, she put her business in, um, in the book. And she's always supporting um, supporting the happy movement, which is um, super nice. And so um, send me an email so I can send you the link so that you can be part of the um, of the discussion. And um, yes, and we also had um, brother Ron Spears. He was up in the house too. And what's um, cool about this brother is that he, you know, he's he's been on every show, <laughs> every show out there. Um, but 
he also um, was able to get, he's, uh, he runs like the youth ministry at his church. And so he donated, they donated, Harford Baptist Church donated uh, money so that we could have the um, Hoppy Gala at the Charles Wright Museum. And he made that, he made all that happen because he's like a huge um, Hoppy supporter. So we really appreciate Ron Spears. Another shout out to Ron. And Ron traveled with us to Kemet, which was really nice. And we really had, we, we, we had some really heavy hitters um, with us. Um, so yeah, that was super nice. We have Missouri in the house. So um, I'm just waiting for Shah to sign in. Shah, I sent you the link. Yep, so as soon as she signs in, we will um, we'll have, uh, she'll, she's gonna talk about her, um, her experience. And we're trying to get Rashmela Combo to talk about her experience. Yes, peace, son. Sun Temple. Um, I think somebody was asking about the class. So if you just go to our our, our website, happyfilm.com, and you can just sign up there. And it's it's over Zoom if you're not in the um, if you're not in the area. But if you're in the area, you really want to come by the Genesis Museum. It's beautiful. Um, when you walk in there, it's just the, the spirit, the energy. You have to take your shoes off, and, and every there's no wall that's um, open. Everything is covered. Every single thing is covered with either Badu Nature, um, some comedic something. <laughs> and it, it's a beautiful space. And the thing about it is that uh, Mr. Clayton, who runs it, he is also, um, you know, very excited about, um, uh, it really, he wants to like work with other groups of people. So if you guys have groups, if you have businesses, you should really make it your business to get there and meet him because you know, this is how, you know, we, when we talk about this power of unity, this is how we make it happen by people really working with each other. A lot of people say, oh, I'm working with people, but people really need to, you know, work together. Um, and yes, I see Dr. Harris, who was our MC. Dr. Harris just sent me an email so he can be part of the show because he was our MC for the One Africa um, conference, which was dope. Dot com. He was a excellent um, MC. And it was so funny because every time I talked to, when I talked to Dr. Jeffries, he asked me, he's like, that Dr. Harris. I talked to, um, to Professor Small. Professor Small actually gave me a dissertation about Dr. Ken Harris and how dope, um, how dope of a um, the MC he was. He's from Detroit, homegrown, and he runs the um, National Business League, which was founded by Booker T. Washington. And so he's, and there's only been four presidents and he's one. So he just sent me an email so I can send him a link to be part of, um, to be uh, part of the, uh, the, the, the talk tonight. But yes, 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 it's life changing. Yes, Dr. Harris has been a Kimmet as well. Oh, I'm gonna thank Carol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm waiting for Shah. Oh, Ken is at the airport, and that's the thing. I tell you, the National Business League—he's making deals every day, all the every day, all the time, and so that's why we were really excited that you know that he was able to kind of fit us in to um you know to uh, host in a two-day event. It was really nice. So I'm just waiting for Shah to turn on his camera so he can come through. All right, um, and let me just remove this banner. Okay. So this is all we don't see what Shah has to do. Hey, Shah. Hey. <laughs> hey. So look. So this is so interesting. So I don't even know you, Shah. How did you? So so tell me. First of all, tell me how um how you know Happy. I know how Happy you? because I have been following the scholars that are part mm -hmm. part of the family for many years, and have been a student of African history and culture. Uh, for a long time, um, and uh, actually, I, I'm I'm loving this class. I'm not going to be able to take it this time, which is unfortunate. But I attempted to take a class like this uh, in 1988 at San Francisco State in the classics department, and it, there was an old Jewish white woman teaching the class. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and so at the time I was uh, I was just 
a black studies student and I was in Richard Kane's class and a bunch of other over Tashaka. And so I was getting, you know, culturized. And um, when I went into the class and, and it was just, she's talking all this, this old stuff and it just, I couldn't take it. I just had to get out. I couldn't go through it. You know, I asked a few questions and it was just not, you know, I was, I was too in a mode of, um, of this right. awakening renaissance and blackness and you know yes. Egypt and you know that's it yeah where are you from I'm from the Bay Area from a little city called uh East Palo Alto also known as Little Nairobi okay oh nice yeah nice yeah you guys are family yeah yes you know what I let me tell you yes and I didn't realize how much um you, you know, that we were family until um, a lot of times, like when we see you guys in person and, and as soon as you say your name, I was like, oh my God, because I know everyone's email. I'm like, I know emails and I know, you know, like the tag, uh, like when you guys are in the chat and it's like, it's instant. There's nothing, you know, it's just like, it's just like an instant love. And so I really appreciate you like coming on. I and didn't, I, I actually didn't know I was going to actually oh, be on and I thought there would be other people too, you know, kind of like, you know, in here along with us, but. Uh, yeah, no, I think some more people are going to come. We hope. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So, so now, okay. So let me ask you some questions. So have you been to Kemet yet? I have not. <gasps> I know. I know. I know. So you got to travel with us. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> You're like, yeah, definitely. Yes. Yes, family, because we are going to Kemet. Um, this uh, and, and I know, okay, so it's a, it's a quick turnaround. But the thing about this was that when we, you know, we kind of went under the cover of darkness because of all the drama that happened in February. So no one knew we were going um, in May. And uh, but then when we came back and we started showing pictures, people were like, oh, my God, like, why can't, you know, like, we want to go this, this and that. So we ended up, um, you know, saying, okay, we're going to just take a couple of people back. But then... It, it is is pretty turned into like a lot of people. So yeah, you should definitely try, you know, to try and make it happen. I'm I'm wanting to uh I remember my first trip to Africa was uh Congo and um oh, yeah. Still yeah, that was you know Africa, Yeah, and, and and in those times when I was uh going to Africa to study um mostly music and dance, Kemet was definitely on my uh radar as I got to go to Kemet, you know, back in the day when I was, you know, uh, making my trips as a student. Um, so, yeah, I, I um, it, it's uh, it's in my ancestry for sure. Mm. Yeah. OK, so I'm going to hold I'm going to hold you to this, um, Shai. You have like a year. OK. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not, OK, now I'm not going to, you know, say you got to come travel with us in September, but you got to travel with, with us, you know, because we're, we're doing this trip in September. I know we're going to be doing something um, next year. So you got to, you know, you got to make the commitment to travel with us. All I, right. Since I've made this appearance, I really feel like I've jumped off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been yeah. following Router and, the, and the, um, the ASAP uh, Restoration Project. I've been mm -hmm. following that. And I've been talking it up with uh, people in Twitter. I, I uh, found out about the situation in for the conference that was supposed to happen and made that announcement in Twitter spaces um, mm -hmm. with other, you know, Pan-Africanist folks. And um, it was good to, you know, a lot of feedback. People were very uh, interested and didn't know anything about the ASA Restoration Project or Happy. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I don't know how you don't know about Happy. We everywhere. <laughs> yeah. No, it's but, you know, but it's, it's, it's so, listen, you know, um, you're right. I, a lot of times um, it's, you know, I, I'll talk to somebody and, you know, I've actually talked to people who um, who know me, but like, OK, they don't know me because I'm like, I usually just talk to them on the phone. Right. I mean, I've never like met them, like just different type of business people. And it's so interesting, you know, when I'm like, tell, tell you know, tell them about Hoppy. They're like, oh, my God, I follow Hoppy. I was like, how do you follow Hoppy? And, but they don't know it's me or they don't know it's Taki. And so it's it's like we're trying to just connect all the pieces. Right. So every black person got to know about Hoppy. We got to know about the movement because this movement is not stopping. Like you're part of the movement. 
you know, uh, any type of support that people are giving us. And, you know, and we don't discount spiritual support, right? Those, um, you know, when you're sitting down in front of your altar and, and you're, you know, you're talking to your, your ancestors, we, we appreciate you as, you know, you mentioning us as well, because a lot of times, you know, we, we just history shows when you look at all these movements, there's always pushback from, from somebody, somebody doesn't like that. You know, we're trying to be positive and, and, you know, uh, and get black people to understand who they are and where they come from. And so that we can make different economic choices so that we can then just be financially independent. A lot of people don't want that, right? For whatever reason. Um, but we're clear about what we're doing. <laughs> and so all the support that we can get is uh, greatly appreciated. Awesome. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm hearing all of that. And um, I am definitely in there with you guys and, hope to grow my business so that I can start making some of these um, educational moves. And um, What kind of business do you have? Uh, I work in, I'm in fashion. So, oh. yeah, um, I'm, I design clothes. This is more of the later stuff that I'm doing. Before that, I was uh, managing models. And um, now I'm, I'm in the designing clothes stuff now. Wow. That's your, so last cool. name, your last name is Hardin. Yes. My last name is Harding. Wow. And you're from, and wait, and where's your family from? My dad's side is from Oklahoma, Texas, and my mom's side is from. Uh, oh, we lost shots. Oh, I'll there you go. Got a phone call. Sorry. <laughs> They're going to probably call again. Uh, is Opelousas, Louisiana, is my mother. Yeah, my grandmother is from Oklahoma. She's actually from where um, um, where Tulsa Massacre. She was born a year of the Tulsa Massacre, which is really unfortunate. But what yeah. was her last name? Her maiden name or her last? Ponsel. Name? Huh? Ponsel. Ponsel. P O U N C I L, like Ponsel, but Ponsel. Ponsel. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I never heard that name before. Yeah, I know. It's just like a few out there, so they're probably like my relatives. <laughs> But um, but okay. So uh, so we hope to see you with your fashion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I know the next time we go to uh, Kim, we definitely will be partying. So maybe people can wear your fashions at the party. Right. Um, just saying because yeah. you know, they, you know, like we have everything we need to be successful. We don't really need nobody else. We are like Infudishi always says, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And if we could just really lean into that we, if we can just move we can move mountains unstoppable move mountains. yeah powerhouse you know we were saying that in the in the uh, twitter group that i joined recently it's the pan Africanist mm -hmm. group and uh in that in even within the small circle of maybe about 15 people we've got all these different uh areas of expertise and professionalism um it's it's just been really good in fact an investment group has started um from this this group that i'm involved in oh yeah i mean it's it's starting so it's small but um yeah we've been dealing with the this this whole divis divisatory uh activity going on with the the uh, foundational uh young folks calling themselves foundational whatever it is black americans and mm -hmm. uh ados and fba and it's and and really to to be honest it's starting to change that you know that battle is starting to show some positive signs because these young folks are starting to you know kind of come out of it a bit and they're starting to come around to learning more because a lot of it is is ignorance you know that they just don't know history so that's part of it yeah and you know i think that um when we you know one thing we want to um so one of the things, you know, we've we've had a lot of talks with um we've had uh Chase McGee, which is a young brother who he's written um four books now, Voice of the Ancestors. A lot of people follow him on I think Twitter and Chase. and and, and, um, and IG. Yeah. So Chase actually came with us to Kemet, which is really, you know, nice. But you know, he represents this these these young people. And then we have like Professor Small. We've done a lot of um shows with both of them and just talking about this, you know this um, connection with the old and with the new and how we both need each other, right? Because, you know, 
one thing about young people is that they have fire, they have spark. And, you know, as you are getting older, you need someone to carry on what you're doing and to build on it. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's I think, that's, yeah, that's one of the things that we have to, um, we have to really be conscious about. Um, and then and young people, you know, a lot of times when you're young, you kind of just think you know everything. Right. And yeah, you know, but the other, but it just has to be a give and take. We just can't discount one or the other. We really got to, you know, figure this out and work together. But we've noticed it is interesting. Um, and you didn't, just us talking about this, is that one of the pushbacks we had in terms of Hoppy was, you know, of, of older people not wanting younger people to kind of carry on a legacy. And that's unfortunate. You know, um, because when you when you cut away young people, then you could really kind of cut away your ability to keep, you know, to have a legacy and for your for what you what you've built to continue. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's important that we respect each, you know, each side of that. Absolutely. You have such positive energy. I mean, you just light up everybody. I'm sure you light me up when you're doing just doing your thing. Wow. So it's it's uh it's really good that you're doing this part of happy and uh, mm. uh, it's uh you're the right person for it I got to tell you. Well, 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 thank you, Sean. <laughs> That's what's up. You know why? Because I love black people. Like I love black people, and I think you know, and I think that um I think that you you can't be in this if you don't love black people. Um, which is like our number one tenant. We have like four um four tenets in terms of being part of the happy movement. And number one is loving black people. Um, number two is just supporting other black people. Number three is we is learning some, I hate, I hate the word financial literacy. So we don't use that. We just say you, you have to become more astute with your money. Right. And then you have to teach number four is teaching everybody. You got to teach everybody, especially the kids. Yeah. And that's the reason I'm in those spaces because, um, uh, I feel like since I'm not really active in the community now, I've been on the East Coast for about seven years. Um, I, I'm i like doing this art. This is like art for me. This is something that, I, that I'm that i kind of doing that's not in the community. Um, and so me being in Twitter spaces is is trying to give back and trying to contribute and, and also learn and see what's going on with the young folks. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And you know, listen, you're like a fashion guy. Look, I'm a lot I, of. Huh? <laughs> I said I got a lot. I like got a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, I mean, I we when I was in East Palo Alto, we were doing uh, this uh, nonprofit called Seventh Harvest Research Institute, and um, that was a nonprofit on an acre of land in East Palo Alto that we did uh, gardening, we did cultural oh. arts, and we did uh, we taught Yoruba cosmology. Wow. Cultural botany. And we kind of fused three programs, cultural botany, sustainable agriculture, and the cultural arts. We, we, we uh, kind of integrated those three different things. Um, and yeah, we did that for about 10 years. And, you know, we had a botanical garden. We had, you know, we were growing food. We had uh, wow. outdoor dance floor. All of this stuff was in an urban, you know, setting in a, in a, in a black community. So. Okay, listen, you got to get to Kim in, okay? Because let me tell you, when you're talking about cosmology, that's like the birthplace of cosmology, right? And you're doing all, you're, you're doing everything that we were doing in Kim in, like you're doing, you're doing here. That is dope. So you got to come so you can like see it. Oh, man. You, I, I, yeah. I, uh, let's see. Um, the growing uh, the food. Daughter, Anthony and his daughter were doing a... Um, they were doing a, I guess, an update on on uh, the project, on the restoration project, ASA. Mm -hmm. And um, I was attending that, and it was like a live stream, I guess, or I, I don't know if, which one it was. I think it might have been Zoom or something like that. So I'm mm -hmm. participating in that. And so they were talking about the grand opening of it would be on the 20, in uh, 2024, I think. They're, they're talking about it will be finished or whatever to a point that they want to do this big opening. And so um, in that, I gave some feedback about the possibilities of having some representation of um, priests from different areas in um, Africa to attend that as a kind of 
um, show of unification of our traditional um, spiritual spiritual leaders in these different places. Um, so I, I, I brought that out in in the in the conversation. They were like, "Hey, we're open to it. Let's talk about it." That kind of thing. So um, that's kind of stuff is intriguing to me, and it's and it's it's something that I, I hope to to be a part of doing something. Yeah. Yes, but you got to come to Egypt with us before then. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm right. telling you, you got to come, and then I can wear. It. Wait, do you you make dresses? Uh, well, I some of the stuff I make is kind of unisex. It is unisex, so okay. you know, uh, guys, girls can wear it. So, um, but it, it's all done by hand. There's no sewing machine at all. Wait, 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 wait. So you're just doing like one piece at a time? Like you're one really sewing? Yeah, one of a kind pieces. It's could I guess the French call it couture, you know. Um, so it's different. It's something that nobody's like really kind of doing, and and I thought I'd go extreme with it because there are certain places where you can't use a machine, but I'm actually not using machine. I'm I'm hand sewing it. Okay, you gotta you gotta email me your um your you have a website. I have an Instagram. Okay, you gotta email me your Instagram because I want to check this out. Wow, see, okay, listen, I'm gonna wear one of your one of kind one of a kind pieces on the Hoppy River. Okay, but I ain't wearing it if you're not coming. I'm just uh, saying. Okay. <laughs> you gotta come. You gotta yeah. come with us. Yeah. Yes, travel with us. That's what's up. All right, well, brother Sean. Yeah, you yeah. know, I see, yes, <laughs> like everyone else is feeling you too. So yeah, we wanna we wanna check this out, check out your work. Okay. okay? All right. Sounds All right. good. All right. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. Thank you for coming on. So we have to keep in touch now. Okay. Right. Well, I, I have your email address now. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be sending you emails like, yo, what's good. Okay. Got this coming up. Yeah. I am so excited and um, I'm glad to have met you and uh, say hello to everybody. And this is kind of a kickoff for me. So now oh, okay. well, you know what, give us your, your IG. Okay. Yeah. That one's like me. It was like, what, what's your IG? Uh, um, it's Shaz Couture, um, S-H-A-S-C-O-U-T-U-R-E. Okay. Um, all right. So, you know, I know this is janky. My A button takes a minute to work on my computer. So it's S-A. S-H-A-S-C-O-U-T-U-R-E. C-O-U-R-E. Shaz Couture. S H A S C O U T U R E C O U T U R E. Yes. Oh, the, remember. <laughs> I know. I know. Everybody closing my eyes. That is right there. Hmm. Is 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 that it? You see right there on the screen. Is that is that your IG? Yes, that is. Okay, there it is. All right. Shaz Couture. We gonna oh, check. C O U. T U R E C O U T U R E. Oh, have mercy. You know what? Right there, okay, you're in you're in the chat right now. I mean, you're not in the chat. You're behind the scenes. There's a little thing that says private comments. Type it in right there for me. And okay. I'm just gonna cut and paste it onto the screen. Okay. Yeah, it should be like on the on the on the right, or maybe it's the left of your screen. But um why Sha is doing that, family, make sure you um uh take part in in all the stuff that we're doing. So I'm just going to do a little recap. Okay. Number one, the one Africa, uh, um, the one Africa conference, the live stream. And the thing about this, uh, you know, we sent it out to people who, who actually saw the lot, the, you know, seen the live or came through. And when we were thinking about, um, you know, this, you know, after we moved it, it was such a powerful weekend. We were like, we don't know how that's going to translate onto, you know, like actually just sending it out to people because it was so, the energy was, a, it was just alive. It was just a nice, nice, nice event. And so, um, but when we start to, you know, like edit it and put it together, we were like, man, it's like, it didn't lose none of that energy. Susan Tata, all of these people were still, it was so good. And so... We felt really good about it. And it's 12 hours. So, it's, you know, you may be able to just sit and watch it. I mean, people that came to the conference watch it over two days. But this is a um, this is something that we we really want you to not only, um, you know, like just look for you to know, look at yourself. But you got to like have somebody sit down there with you. 
some somebody's kid, your kids, anybody's kid, just anyone. You guys sit down and really, really take in with 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 their um, you know, with all these different uh, leaders are just talking about because they were so passionate and there was so much stuff we missed because we were going in and out, like trying to make sure this or this or that. So there was some stuff, you know, I thought that I heard, but sitting back and like actually looking at it and being able to rewind and stuff like that. I was like, Oh my God. I was like, they were just dropping jewels that whole entire weekend. So, wow. so if yeah. you, if you want to, Buy if you don't want to rent it and you want to, I guess, buy it, buy the digital. You can, do, digi yeah, you can download it. Oh, you just download it, okay. And yeah, it's or something. In it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you can. Um, you can. It, it's it's on our Vimeo page, but if you just go to happyfilm.com, you'll be able to um to uh you know to um to see it. You can just purchase it right there. As soon as you you hit the button, it takes you to Vimeo, and then you can um go ahead and, and um. You know and do it there okay awesome that is so cool where's my video i bought the video for happy i was going to show it but uh took a little while to get here but i got it <laughs> yes you know why because so let me tell you we had um so my kids so i have two two sons one has graduated this past week in fact he he goes to he starts college in the fall um, at Howard University, okay, and right. so he, so he was in charge of these DVDs and doing all this stuff, right? So he trained my younger son, who is in, he he will be starting tenth grade, okay, and it's a little learning curve here with, with yeah. this, with, with the happy marketplace, yeah. and so we're working out the kinks, yeah. You know, so yes, so I'm I'm glad that you got your DVD. Uh, and anybody else that's waiting on anything, everything is, is everything is in the mail at this point. And uh, yes, yeah, someone that's given us HBCU uh, love, get fire. That's good to know that it's 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 in the family and it's you know, um, family. Yeah. Like, yeah, because this is the thing. Yeah, this is the thing. Like we can't do everything ourselves, and we don't mind paying other black people to do stuff. Um, and a, a lot of times people come to us and say, oh, we can do this, we can do that. And, you know, we we are open to give, you know, pretty much anyone a shot. This is the thing, though. It's interesting. Sometimes people are like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just do it for you for free. No, we don't like free. No, no, we don't like free. And let me tell you why we don't like free. Because free also comes with um, sometimes uh, like, no, like I'll just kind of do what I want to, you know, do it. And we need things to be done. And there's a lot of moving um, parts to um you know, to leading a movement. Um, so for, you know, and that's just for anybody that's out there that wants to, you know, that has something special that they think they can um, bring to us to shoot us an email and let's have a conversation about it. But, you know, when we talk about like in Hoppy, there's a part where uh, Dr. Um, not Dr. Uh, Ken Kelly, who is the CEO of First Independence Bank, and he's actually one of our producers um, on the film, but he talks about the fact that, um, that uh, one dollar stays in our community for six hours. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, like that's crazy. Crazy. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. There's your IG. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we are definitely down for uh, supporting people that look just like us. This is super important. That's how we. That's how we can move forward. You know, there's before I go, I want to say this. I met a brother on uh, on Twitter Spaces. He's from Northern Ghana. He's mm. uh, they speak Gurunsi. He's from uh, this area called Bogotanga, and um, in their lineage, you know, they talk about how they migrated from Kemet. So they that's part of their tradition that they they are, they come from the area now known as Sudan from Nubia. So, um, and he talks, and in his oral, see, he's very studied in his oral tradition. In his oral tradition, they some of the words are even the same exact words that they use. Um, they call uh, uh, in in Kemet, um, but for example, they call uh, God is a female, and they call God Nama. You know, the Dogon say Ama. Mm, they say Nama. Yes. And, and it just goes on and on. It's just really very amazing that these people are like, uh, represent 
a certain migration that left Nile Valley at a certain time. It, it almost seems like they left, you know, one of the last migrations to leave, Kemet. And um, they went back to West Africa. And it, all, and it seems like they, they traveled to Kemet and then they returned back to West Africa. They left West Africa to go there because of the water situation. The desert was encroaching and, they, and it, that large body of water um, encroached, I mean, dried up. Wow. So. You know, what, what it's, let me tell you what's interesting about that. So um, Dr. Uh, uh, Rosalind Jeffries, she was with us on the trip and uh, she talked about, um, she was making this connection between West Africa and Kemet and, you know, uh, with, with different um, symbols, with just things that we know that they were my, you know, that they were um, uh, traveling, you know, back and forth. And also uh, when you talk about the language piece, Asar Imhotep, he also talks a lot about um, about that, actually in great detail, <laughs> about the root words and just, you know. Yes. Just, yeah, all of that. And so it's so interesting because um, I've never heard about this particular group in Ghana. I'm actually going to go to Ghana, I think, hopefully this year. Mm -hmm. I would they love to. Fra -fra. Yeah. They, they, they say Fra Fra. They call them the Fra Fra people because they greet and they say Fra Fra. But that's not the name of the ethnic group. Um, and it's uh, his father is a blacksmith and his mother is a traditional surgeon. She's part of the uh, Nabisi um, society or our guild. They call it Nabisi, something like Nabisi. But anyway, she's a surgeon in a traditionally taught surgeon and they have tools and they know things, you know, it's, it's just like blows my mind every time he starts talking in these spaces. But anyway, I brought him up because hopefully um, he, I can introduce you guys and he can talk about some of the stuff that he's doing. It's, it's fascinating. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. That, no, that sounds fair. Yeah. Make sure you, okay, listen, Shaw. I feel like we know each other now since you're the, you're the, uh, the, the co, um, you know, the co-facilitator here tonight, the Hoppy Show. Listen, you got to send me an email because th that sounds really interesting. You know, especially you like, oh, he know things. I want to know what things he know. I mean, they even have little pyramids in uh, his area. They have, uh, these people are not, they're, they're like, know who they are, where they come from. And um, it's just like a missing, so this to me represents something that needs to be studied to help us to understand, to put more of the puzzle together about yes. connections yeah. of our folks in the West and back home and bringing that, you know, I mean, Anthony Crowder found a Dinkra symbols on the, on the tomb wall, on the ceiling of uh, Karaka Moon, the mayor of, uh, yeah. you know, of um, Karnak, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting is that um, I know you're a fashion designer, okay? <laughs> but you might have to really kind of put on your research hat here. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, I, I'm also initiated in Ifa too, so that's oh. or before all of that. And I, I, I do dances from Congo, Guinea, and Mali. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dancer. That was my degree was dance with a concentration in ethnology. But I took... Uh, I was one class short, didn't know it, of getting a black study major, having a double major. And um, I just did it because I wanted to know. I wasn't, I didn't care about the major. I just wanted to learn. I could learn that the black studies department had. And uh, it was smoking at the time. Wow. It was smoking hard. I mean, I had Ray Richardson with Marcus Bookstore. She was teaching uh, Maya Darren's book on... Um, on a divine horseman and we were talking about uh you know voodoo and and this you know it was deep and then i had over to shaka talking about dogon philosophy and richard Ooh. talking about uh uh black hey, you don't look that old you don't look that old i'm just saying oh yeah i am <laughs> i be trying to add though <laughs> That's yeah funny. wow okay yeah it was like, so all of these things, when I see Dr. Jeffries, he's just, I mean, our, our Dr. Small, um, I'm watching him on Susan Tata's show, Dr. Susan Tata's show all the oh, time. Oh, I love her. I love yeah. her. Oh, God. She had us crying. When she was at the One African Conference, we were straight up in tears. 
Wow. Like grown, yeah, grown men was crying. Her because the thing about it was she was supposed to be there in person. Uh, she had her ticket for some for whatever reason. Because you know, a lot of times when we're talking about people, you know, when you start doing something, you know, all these forces are coming, you know, against you. And not all the forces you can see. Right. So we know that there's a lot. There's a whole spiritual game going out there, a spiritual warfare <laughs> that's going on. And so she could not leave. But she used that. She used that. Um, you know, that uh, situation to fuel like her performance, her speech, because when she started to talk, she didn't even give credence. And she didn't even go into why she wasn't there. She didn't even give them any type of voice, right? And when she started talking, it every, every it was just like you could hear a pin drop, and people were just glued, just just looking at her. And she was, oh, she was fabulous. And afterwards, she didn't even. I was, you know, asking her stuff. She didn't remember half the stuff she said. So I'm gonna make sure I send her the link so she can see, <laughs> because she was just like something, you know, something came over her, and it she was fat. She was fantastic. And even Dr. Uh, 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 Miss Bayina Bello, who yes. has known her forever, was like, I've never seen her. I've never seen her speak like that before. I mean, it was something to behold, I tell you. Yeah. So if you guys, you know, make sure you get the One Africa Conference. It's, we got it because you will see that uh, her, her speech was it was so good. So good. Uh, that yeah. is I'm so glad that uh, it in, it ended up the way that it did. Um, because it was what it was probably supposed to be. That was what was supposed to happen. Exactly, exactly. I tell you, uh, you know, but we didn't feel like that initially. Like yeah. initially when we had to like cancel it, nobody was feeling like, oh, this is for the best. No, we weren't feeling that. You know, we knew that in the back of our mind, right? But we, you know, at that particular moment, that wasn't our number one feeling. You know, as time went by, when we had to, you know, be like, okay, we just need to pivot. And then as we started working on Detroit, it became clear that Detroit was where this was, you know, supposed to happen. And that conference was a good day for black people. You walked into the into the hotel, it smelled of sage and black love. <laughs> like literally. And it was so it was just such a um it was a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. I get it, yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Shah. So, um, so yeah. So, I will be looking forward to communicating with you now because you'll be traveling with us next year to Egypt. Yeah. And um, I will be wearing one of your beautiful. I can't. God, it's like I can't believe you like sold these outfits. Like that's like that's the bomb. Like that is so cool. Um, and so yeah. So we will be in communication. All right. Good. It sounds good. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to it. And. Um, you know, say hello to everybody for me, and I'll I'll be watching. Yeah. Looks like you're gonna be bringing on one of the heavy hitters later, I guess, Doctor. Yes. yes, we're we're gonna see because uh, like the the Jefferies, they had a urgent matter they had to take care of. They're gonna um, most likely be at the um, at the uh, at the festival this weekend, um, and then we will bring them back onto Happy Talk soon. Thank yeah. you. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Nice Peace. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there you go, Sha. That's what's up. Um, uh, yes, Akan Divine. Uh, Akan Divine is doing lots of little talking in this chat. I don't know why Akan Divine ain't sending me a um, email so Akan Divine can be up on the um, on the Happy Talks. But before I go, I just want to just just kind of go over all the little stuff that we have going on and show you guys some pictures. Um, so. We are um, right here. Let me see. Okay. Yep. Hoppy, Hoppy, right there. There's our Hoppy Vimeo page. It's on demand. You can go to um, to our website, HoppyFilm.com, and all of these are up there. We have the Tekken, we have Nubia, and we have the One Africa Conference. All for live streaming, all for digital download, and the one and the conference you can actually just rent if you don't want to, um, you know, if you just want to rent it over the, you know, over the weekend you can rent it. You need to have a copy. I'm just gonna just put that out there, not because we're selling it, but because of all those great performances um, and speeches that people gave, and it is like it's it's transforming. It 
really is transforming. And so, um, you know, right there, we have everything up now for digital download. We used to just have DVDs, but now everything's on digital download, which is great, 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 great. Um, also, we are going to Egypt um, right there. If you go to iCatTours.com, we are going September 9th um, through the 17th. And, um, you know, this time, you know, we were, uh, I, I can't even describe how it felt to be able to travel with, um, with the elders. You know, we've heard a lot about 1987 when Dr. Ben took like a thousand people to Egypt. And, you know, we, we've just been hearing about this, hearing about this, hearing about this. And so it was really cool when we went to Egypt and we had, you know, some of those elders that were there um, in 1987 with us um, today. And we, uh, we, we just had a really good time. It was informational. It was, it was all of those things. Um, and let me see, let me just move this banner so you guys can see. Um, I'm sorry. Move the banner. There you go. So you can see all of us. I can't believe we were all able to fit into a picture. <laughs> but that's like all, it was like 84 of us or 83. Um, no, actually it was 84 of us. Yeah. And we're at the Pyramid Giza. And that was, um, it was nice. And the thing about this, is, and this is why, you know, we would probably, you know, won't go maybe in the summertime because it's a little hot. <laughs> well, actually it's a lot of hot. But um, the thing about this is that everyone persevered. Nobody was complaining, it, you know, about like, oh, I, it's so hot, I can't move, you know, go on. No, people were getting out there. Elders knew when to sit down and say, okay, I'll just, you know, stay on the bus or I'll just, sit, you know, chill at the hotel or I'll be out there with y'all. Um, they knew how to, um, they, they really showed us just how to be, um, how to be true to ourselves. We were in those pyramids. I was down there with, uh, with, uh, with Infudishi, he's going up and down the stairs like he's 15 years old. <laughs> so uh, we had a really um, nice time, but that's a nice group shot of all of us. Um, I'm sorry. These, you know, this little computer is just going, it's just going so slow. Um, yes, Sharon Anderson. I've been seeing a lot about Sharon Anderson on IG. Um, Yes. Yeah. You got to get the copy. Just go to hoppyfilm.com and get the copy and we can see the whole entire, um, you can see, um, excuse me, you can see the whole entire event from beginning to end. And we have, um, and it, it was, <laughs> it was really super powerful, super powerful. Okay. I want to show you guys some more pictures so you guys can just get a taste of uh, what it is. If you guys come travel with us. So this is in one of my uh, favorite places on earth. This is in um, Abu Simbel. We're in um, Ramses II. This is his, um, it's his temple. And right next to it, his wife, um, Queen Nafatari, her, uh, her temple's like right next to it. And what's interesting is that um, a lot of times people think that it's just, um, you know, it's just, we just see, you know, that one um, shot for Abu Simbel, but his, his wife's temple is like right next door. Um, and so it, it's, it's it, it, again, you know, we only see the, like the commercial side of Egypt because that's what they want us to see. But when you go, you really experience, um, Kemet in a way that, um, uh, it changes something inside of you. Uh, both my kids went, uh, with me, uh, let me see at the time it was, it was 15 and 18 years old. Um, well, 17, cause one just turned 18, like last week, um, but yeah, it, this was like a, um, even, you know, they were just like, I want to go back. When can we go back? Mommy, when we can go back. This was just really a, a nice, um, this, this was nice for them. And a lot of it, you know, I was asking them questions and, it, you know, we're all still on a high from it. Uh, looking at these pictures is just very reminiscent of um, the good time that we had. But that was inside of, uh, I'll be simple. Um, I'm sorry, Ramesses II, um, his tomb. Yes, to please say it is definitely a um, it's experience of a lifetime. 
which we need to do often. <laughs> so not just once, once in your lifetime, we got to keep going. You got to keep going. Yeah. Because every time you go, you learn, you're, it's like you're learning something else. Um, you know, I, I've been a couple of times and I'm just like, wow. Yeah, this is in uh, this is in Queen Nefertari's temple, which is which is um, in Abu Simbel, right next to his, her um, her husband's tomb. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. And some of the temples you can't actually speak like the the um, the guides they can't speak, you know, inside. You can just go and they have to talk about what you're going to see when you go inside. But we had the luxury of having Infudishi. And Infudishi is actually traveling with us in September. And he is preparing a, oh my, we, I, you know, I gave, gave him the itinerary and he has been going wild in terms of the stuff that he's going to be saying and, and going over. Um, and he's a very, he is a master teacher in every sense of the word. And, you know, really making sure that we understand why we are going into these temples, what we should be looking for, how, um, and, and it just, you know, he just really, you know, he's been going, he said he stopped counting after I think 40 or 50 times. And I was like, wow, like that's, you know, so that's why it is a trip of the lifetime that we need to keep on um, taking. This is really nice. And here, yeah, this is in front of, um, that's, yeah, so this is the picture that everyone normally sees, right? But right next to it is Queen Nefertari's um, temple as well. But yeah, that's all of us. And that day was hot. It was a hot day. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, and this is true, Frederick Jones. And let me tell you, so Frederick Jones, he he came with, Frederick, you should, you know what, in fact, I don't even want to tell your story. You should actually just text me or email me so that I can give you the link and you should come on and tell your um, story. Um, is this senior or junior I'm talking to? Because they both came, which is really cool. We had like two father and son um, uh, uh you know, groups that came, which is, you know, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, Brother Jones, you should come on. Let me just, let me put up the, um, let me put up the, um, you know, you guys should know this, um, <laughs> this email by heart now. I'm just trying to find it right there. You should um, send me an email so I can send you a link so you can be part of the discussion because it'd be good for you to hear it. Um, for you guys to hear from somebody that was, you know, um, there with us in Kemet. We had a very good time. Um, but yes, what he's saying is um, very true, you know, because we heard, you know, there's like a, there's a way that, you know, that we keep hearing like this commercialized um, version of, e of Egypt. But when we go, it's, it's Kemet and we get, you know, we have, we are really ingesting it the way that um, I think that they laid it out for us. So it's definitely, I think I have a few more pictures I want to show you guys. You know, we couldn't go any place without showing right there, happy, the happy symbol. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can't even remember where we were when this was happening. And that's just it, you know, we, um, so what we do with our travelers is that, um, we have like a uh, like a photo dump where they can just put all their pictures, but then we also have a private Facebook group that we're you know putting pictures. And there was so much stuff happening. Um, Dr. J was dancing. I was dancing with Dr. J. <laughs> like we had, we were celebrating senior. Okay, um, um, uh, senior. That's uh, senior Jones is um, is on the chat. Okay, all right. I love I love to see um, older people on the chat. That's really good. That's good. I'm trying to get my mom to be on the chat. But um, we, you know, we had uh, a couple of birthdays we were celebrating over there. 
and we had a good time. We, we were definitely scholars during the day, but in the evening we were relaxing. We were on the um, Hoppy River. We were dancing. And I tell you, I know everybody in there could not believe Dr. J was dancing. And Dr. J got some moves. I'm just going to leave it right there. Dr. J got moves. Okay. Um, so yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, there's Mitchell. Mitchell's online. How you doing, Mitchell? Um, okay, I think I got some more pictures. But yes, so we are traveling uh, again in September, uh, September 9th through the um, 17th, and um, it's going to be uh, it's, it's going to be great. And this is a beautiful picture of Dr. J and Infudishi. I don't even I can't remember who captured this picture, but this is beautiful. Um, and we were, we were at, um, uh, Harku's tomb. And that's another thing, you know, I, that trip, we went to every place that we've, that we've talked to. I mean, that, that we, we have, um, uh, that we've documented in the, um, Hoppy documentary. So we went to all those places and it was really a packed, a packed time. You know, we were, a lot of times we were going to places that no one has actually, you know, it's like off the beaten trail. So um, when you go to Kemet, there's a places that, you know, there's places that everybody goes to, Pyramid Giza, um, Saqqara. Like everybody goes to kind of like the same places. But this trip, we actually went to some places that people usually don't go to. Um, and those places are in Hobby Movie. But this particular um, group that traveled with us was able to, um, you know, to witness um, seeing this. And this is one right here. Yeah, this is, you know, Harku's tomb. Not too many people get to go see him. So, yeah, it was nice. But, yeah, that's Dr. J and Infudishi. I tell you, it, it's nice traveling with um, with elders. They, they, they know what's going on, and they are, they've spent their lifetime, you know, in these tombs and temples and, and bring it to a way that we can understand it. And so if you have a, ch a chance to go, definitely Um, okay, I think I got one more picture. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a picture of this brother right here, um, Kevin. So, um, and I forgive, uh, forgive me because I cannot remember um, Kevin. Kevin has a new name now. So he came on the trip and he was like one of our small businesses. He owns a plumbing company, Ardent's Plumbing um, Company. And he was like, I'm coming to Kemet. So he came and he's hanging out there with um, Infudishi. And um, we, we had a good time. So much so when he came back, he actually had a, a reading and a, um, a um, I guess it's like a, a, a spiritual conversation. Anyways, he has a whole brand new name that Infudishi gave him. And so, um, you know, when we talk about this class, and we talk about being a master, um, you know, at delivering and talking about uh, comedic spirituality. It really, I mean, it's like a couple of people that can really talk about that um, and call themselves a master. And Infudishi is one. It's like, a, it's like, it's like three people. <laughs> and so an Infudishi is one. So if you have a chance to take the class with us, you definitely want to um, make that happen. Um, yeah. And you can visit our website. All right, family. If you guys have any um, questions, I can answer those. Um, but um, I am going to, um, I'm just going to give a recap and I will um, depart with you guys. I don't know, depart, depart seems like I'm going to die or something. So I won't say depart. I'm going to give over a, a recap of all the announcements that we have going on, and then I'm going to uh, sign off. Okay. So number one, we have the um, One Africa Conference. It is finally, finally, finally right here. Finally, you can just get your own copy. You can um, go on to uh, our Hoppy page, um, or you can just go straight to Vimeo right there and get the One Africa right there. The One Africa Conference, it's 12 hours. You can download it, you can rent it, or you can uh, stream it. You don't, you, you want to make sure you have this. Even if you've seen it, trust me, you miss some stuff because 
we, you know, we were there and there's a lot of like, where I'm listening to some of these conversations I'm like, wow, they said this, like the connections they were making and also the connections they were um, making within, with each other. No one knew what the other person was going to be talking about, but it, it, when you see how it just flows so nicely, they use what the other person said, you know, before them to really um, kind of add more fuel and fire to what they were saying, you know, going forward. Um, so you definitely want to check out. Yeah, you got to check out the One Africa Conference. It's really nice. And we're going to be bringing on um, uh, the guests that were there. We're going to bring them on, you know, little by little over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so, yeah, you definitely want to check that out right there. The One Africa Conference. Um, next, uh, we have the book. So at the conference, we also had the book, right? We had the book, uh, the commemorative book that people were just, uh, I think people were swiping them towards the end. Like, you know, someone would get up to kind of um, use the restroom or, or go, you know, and partake with the vendors or something like that and leave, you know, like their stuff with their book, like in their um, chair. And somebody was coming up and picking them up because it's a really nice book. So now you can you could just purchase for a nominal fee. A, um, a PDF copy is like five bucks. Um, as soon as you purchase it, 24 hours, we'll send you a link. So you can um, download or you can just look at it, you know, do whatever you want to at that point with it. But it's a beautiful. Um, it's, it's a beautiful book. So you want to make sure you guys are, um, you know, make sure you get that. Yes. And remember, anything, you know, that all the money that we're making, um, it goes towards funding the movement, it goes towards funding the happy movement. And um, you might ask yourself, well, what is the happy movement? The movement is. It's us learning who we are and using who we are as a um, as a jump off to to really start thinking about this idea of economics, culture and politics. And it's not really just thinking about it, but actually doing something, because, you know, I, I, I saw something I was on one two fifth today and someone had a, a T-shirt that said knowledge is power. And I was thinking, mm, I don't know if knowledge is power. I think the application of knowledge is power. And that's really that's that's where we kind of fit in when it comes to um, um, to, to the happy movement. It's the application of what we know and our power is who we are and where we come from. And so now, you know, once you know who you are, you know where you come from. Now look, we need to get it in. We need to start doing things so that we are um, that, you know, so that we are supporting each other so that we can become financially independent and really rise back to the glory of where we we started everything off at. And so it's really important that, um, you know, everyone can do everything. You know, we hear this a lot. Everybody, everyone always says this, but it's so true. But everyone can do something. And even if that something is uh, a small fee, I mean, you know, a, a couple dollars here or even a lot of dollars, you know, we take a lot of dollars, too. But, you know, it's also it's this commitment to I'm doing my part. Right. And it's really important that everyone does their part. We are, uh, we've committed ourselves to, um, to our ancestors and following what they want us to do. And right now, this is what we're doing. And um, we are urging you to connect with your ancestral strength because through your ancestral strength is how you're gonna be able to move through whatever you have to move through. And, um, and you know, we support you know, we support you in that. We we try to be a place where you can learn more about that. Professor James Small is, um, in fact, a lot of our guests, Aina Bello, Professor Small, we talk about this um, connection, you know, with spirituality um, uh, in Fudishi. And so we're, you know, that's why we bring these people on so that we can ignite something in you so that you can, so you can, you know, just walk into all your power. But then once you have this power, you got to do something with it. OK. And, you know, Hoppy, we're not everywhere. Every, you know, we're not everywhere yet. <laughs> but, you know, we we definitely want to link up with other groups, other people who are out there um, pushing black folks forward. So that's super, super important. OK, that is um, that is why we are on here, you know, to um, to do this. And so any support that you guys give, we got the cash app love. We, we greatly appreciate it. Um, Damon Miller. Um, thank you. Uh, there's Bob Miller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you um, for your support. 
And there was someone else that I, I didn't mention that um that gave a super chat. Simply saved. There you go. Thank you. Simply saved. That's what's up. Thank you so much. Um, and Carol, you thank Carol earlier. Um, and seven good days. I love seven good days. I just love that name. And that's yeah, that's fire. You yeah, know, seven good days. Yeah, we got some more Detroiters right there. Um, yes, yes, yes. So, um, all right. So the One Africa um, Conference, the live stream, you can you can download it now. You can get the commemorative book. We also um, have um, Infudishi, who is um, he is teaching a class, uh, a Manu Nature spirituality class, and is using symptom symptomatic thinking or symptomatic thought. Um, and he went into a whole thing. If you haven't saw, if, if you were unable to see part one, um, you just go to YouTube and make sure. And that's another thing. Make sure you guys are liking and sharing this video. Um, but uh, yeah, go to YouTube and check out um, the whole, he did everything. Um, and he talked about sympathetic, uh, um, sympathetic um, sym symptomatic thinking. And he's going to be, and that's that's going to be his whole, um, I guess, um, approach to when he's teaching us the Manudature and Kemetic spirituality in his 15 um, class. It's going to be nice. 15 classes with a master teacher, uh, and he has a little payment plan. You know, it's not cheap, but it's definitely um, it, it's, it's it's definitely worth the price, given that he is a master teacher. And anyone that went on that trip with us to Kemet, if you have, if, if you didn't think he's a master teacher, I don't know what you was doing. But um, he has been around for a very long time. There's not that many people with the, the first name Infudishi because you have to actually go through a lot of steps to even get the name Infudishi. Um, and so you want to make sure if you had the opportunity to take this class with Infudishi that you, you know, if you can swing it, it's going to definitely be uh, worth your while. And you just go to Hoppy Film. Um, dot com and, and sign up right there. Okay. Um, all right. So, and then our last thing is the, is the, um, is a, is our trip. I get tours. You just go to I get tours.com and you can check out the trip. It's going to be really, it's going to be super nice. Yeah. It's going to be nice. And then the last thing, um, I'm sorry, right there, is that everything's on demand now, everything. The Tech Ed, Nubia, the One um, Africa Conference, and Hoppy. That, uh, Professor Small right there, he represents the Hoppy. <laughs> and you guys know that because he's always on Hoppy. Um, so, yeah, you want to make sure um, if you guys are, you know, you definitely want to make sure you check, um, you know, check out those uh those on demands. They're really very, very informational. Um, yeah, so I, I see somebody's talking about Dr. Rakati Aman. So Dr. Rakati Aman, yeah, so those are probably the, uh, she she was actually Infudishi's teacher and she's in Hopi. Infudishi is in Hopi and so is Dr. Rakati Aman. They are both in Hopi. And um, go to ACAT Tours. We have uh, several several different price points for the trips. But I can tell you this, just, just some logistical things about the trip. So all of our trips leave from, um, from JFK, New York, and um, New York City, rather, JFK Airport. And the price includes everything. It includes all your flights because when we get there, we go to Cairo, but then we, we go to Luxor, we go to Aswan. Um, this particular ride, um, a trip, we're going to have a boat ride. So there's it, the price includes every single thing, everything that you eat. The only thing you have to pay for are drinks and drinks are like two or three dollars. And that, and that might be actually a, too much, <laughs> but the only things you're, you're paying for are your drinks when you sit down and have meals, but entrance in the, the guides, everything. And, and the cool thing about this trip is that Infudishi is coming. So you guys know I'm gonna be like extra excited. Um, he came with us this last this last trip in May, and he he's gonna be returning. Um, so yeah, all right, family. So that is it. Make sure you like and share this video. That's very important because we cannot um, 
you know, uh, we can't uh, do anything if no, don't nobody know about us. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you are um, liking and sharing this video right there. I'm just reminding you guys. Um, and thank you guys for all the cash app love. I tell you that money pays for um, all of our, you know, anybody that does work for us. Um, that's where that money, um, you know, we, we pull from that money to make those things happen. So we really appreciate all the donations that you guys are um um, are sending our way. All right, fam. So, um, in closing, because, you know, I always like to take, uh, I take professor smalls, uh, when, when he's not on, I like to, to say what he always says, because, you know, when you call him on the phone, you can't say bye. He's like, no, no, we don't say bye. And so he's always like, you know, um, you know, you never say bye because bye is, you know, a term that's not our term. Um, you know, we need to we need to greet each other and 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 say and, and depart from each other in certain type of ways. But he's always, you know, every time he leaves, he's always like peace and blessings. So I say to you guys, peace and blessings, and I will see you next time. I don't know what we can talk about in this nation without talking about white superiority, honestly. Who defines the meaning of God also defines the relationship between economy and God. African Americans spent $1.3 trillion last year, making us the 16th wealthiest nation in the world. Why have we not turned those riches into wealth to develop our community?